Hi, welcome to another video. I am so excited for this video today because I finally get to talk about my favorite things and who doesn't like talking about their favorite things? Um, so there's gonna be quite a few products. So I'm gonna be talking about my makeup slash beauty products and then some other miscellaneous things that I've been really enjoying this month. Also, I'm in a new location. Um, same apartment, different filming location. So I thought I would try out my bedroom for a change. You know, just to change up the scenery. Um, let me know if you guys like it. I just find that if I'm sitting on my bed, it's a little bit less uh, formal, a little bit um, more comfortable for me, and I hopefully it makes me talk a little bit more naturally because I find that when I'm filming these videos, like sit down videos, I tend to get a little bit anxious and then I start talking really, really fast and then the video is like two seconds long. <laughs> so I just need to learn to relax. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video and let's just dive right into it. So the first category is makeup slash beauty. Um, and the first product that I have right now is this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. And this is specifically for the extra dry skin because your girl, she's got dry skin, <laughs> especially now since it's winter time. Um, and I've been looking for a really good moisturizer for winter anyway. Um, I know that there's a lot of really good products on the higher end, like if you get them at Sephora, but they're really expensive and I didn't really want to buy something that I know I'm going to be using every day. That sounds counterintuitive, but like I don't want to be spending money on something that I'm going to use a lot and having to spend that money over and over and over again. I actually got this uh, as a sample size when I bought something else. I can't remember. I think I bought like a wireless mouse or something and then they gave me like a little tiny tube of this stuff and I was like, okay, that's a really random sample, but it worked. It was just, I, I used up the entire sample within like a couple of days and it was just amazing. Like this stuff. If you have dry skin, like I really recommend picking this up and trying it out. Um, it is on the pricier end in terms of drugstore stuff. So I think um, this retails for like $25 or something. I'll look it up, but um, you get a lot of product and it'll actually last for quite a long time. And when you think about it, $25 compared to what, like 50 or even like $100 for a high-end moisturizer is like a steal. So this is fragrance free. So if you're um, really sensitive to scents, like don't worry. It's also with hyaluronic acid. So I find that when I put this on, like my skin instantly feels really moisturized and supple. I find that when I use like regular moisturizers, it's just not strong enough for the winter time. So definitely give this a try. I really, really love it. I'm actually almost done. Um, and it's just like a clear gel like this. And I usually use this first after I wash my face and then I'll put my other moisturizers on top and I find it really works for me. I bought this at Rexall, but you can probably get it at any place that sells Neutrogena products. So like a Shoppers or like a Walmart or even like a Loblaws, like I'm sure it's everywhere. Next product I actually have is the NYX Professional Makeup uh, Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. I have this in the color True Beige Buff. I really hate face makeup. Like I hate foundation because again, my face tends to be a little bit on the drier end. So whenever I wear foundation, I find it just like makes my skin look really, really dry. It just like accentuates all my dry patches. But I find that this is actually really, really lightweight and it doesn't accentuate my dry patches at all, especially if I exfoliate. Um, it's really, really lightweight and sometimes when I have it on, I don't even notice that it's on, which is perfect for me. And I just love this. So this says it's up to eight hours of wear, does not streak, skin looks luminous, breathable, weightless formula. And I really believe that. Um, at least for me, I'm sure everyone reacts to different products differently, but for me, like, this product really does work for me, and all the claims that it says on the back, like, it's true. I love it. And the thing I love about NYX is that it kind of feels like a high-end product, but for more of a drugstore price. And as you can see, it comes in a squeezy tube, so usually I just kind of squeeze a little bit, like a little dot on my hand, and then I take a wet beauty sponge, and I'll dot the product on my face, um, just really, really lightly, because I don't like to put too much, and I use my beauty sponge, and I just spread it out, and I find that it gives a really nice dewy look. I don't even use powder. I mean, I have dry skin, so I don't usually use powder anyway, but yeah, I really, really love this stuff. So the next thing I have is the Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer. I have it in the shade 20 Sand. Um, I heard that this was a dupe, like a really good dupe for a high-end concealer that kind of looks like this tube as well. Um, I can't remember which brand it was, but I've been really enjoying this. It's, um, I got it at a shopper, so, you know, drugstore prices. And I always use it under my eyes, so I don't really use it anywhere else on my face, but I use it under my eyes just to cover up the darkness, and I find that it's really smooth. 
and creamy and it doesn't accentuate like any fine lines or anything so I do really like this product. I don't use that much but I mostly just use it to cover up darkness and I find that works really well and I really really enjoy it. I don't put it under my um so I get really red under my nose especially in the winter time since I am blowing my nose a lot more but as an under eye concealer it's amazing. Okay next product I've already mentioned this before if you see my get ready with me video. This is the NYX professional makeup hashtag this is everything lip oil. If you saw my previous video you actually see me applying this but I just really really love this one because it's just it kind of looks like a lip gloss but it doesn't feel like a lip gloss like lip glosses I find that it just stick it's so sticky like every time I walk my hair will just like touch my lips and it'll get stuck and then my hair gets sticky and it's just terrible I hate lip gloss <laughs> have you noticed I don't like makeup that feels like makeup so whenever I find something that doesn't feel like makeup but looks like makeup two thumbs up for me. So I have this shade in Sheer Berry. So I don't think they have a lot of shades. I bought this kind of when it first came out. So if they came up with new shades, I'm sure they're amazing. But I have this one and it looks really opaque and like really scary looking. Like the color seems really, um, really vibrant. But because it is a lip oil, it's kind of like a lip gloss. When you put it on, it's actually a lot more sheer than you think. And I really like it because I usually put this on top of like maybe a lipstick that I'm wearing or even if I just do a lip liner and I put this on top, it just looks more, it makes you look more put together, has the, the moisture of a lip gloss, and but not the stickiness of a lip gloss. So I really, really enjoy this. So moving on to non-makeup products, I have this Dove care between washes volume dry shampoo when i first got into the dry shampoo world i used batiste and i used the specifically i used the brown batiste one i didn't end up liking that that much because batiste dry shampoo kind of gives like a gritty texture and i really didn't like that grittiness um some girls like it because it does help you get more volume in your hair but i find that the grittiness kind of just made my hair feel greasier than before I even used it, so I don't really understand. At least that's not how I wanted my dry shampoo to work, so when I came across this Dove one, um, I've been really enjoying it. It does have a really strong smell, so if you're really sensitive to strong scents, so maybe not pick this up, but what I like about it is that even though it's like a white powder and I have really dark hair, once I spray it in my hair and I just kind of shake it out, the white powder kind of disappears, like you don't even notice it. Um, but again, the smell is really strong, so if you're not into that kind of stuff, then maybe skip on this one. Um, I find that it doesn't really bother me because like, once I spray it and then I shake it out and I brush out my hair, I find that it doesn't really last that long, especially like because I have to go outside to get to my car before I get to work, and usually by then the scent would have faded by then, so it's still, you know, pretty good. I like it. So my next favorites is actually not makeup or beauty related, but it is related to my addiction to Stardew Valley. So my um, coworker showed me this app for Stardew Valley. It's a Stardew Valley guide app and it's just, it's just so amazing. Like it basically tells you for anyone who's played the game and if you do play the game and you don't have this app, you have to download this app right away. So it shows you all of the NPCs and then it tells you what they like, what they don't like, but most importantly, it tells you um, really, really good farming uh, information. So like it has like a list of everything that you could ever farm and it's categorized based on the season. So if you need something specific, especially for the community center that for the bundles for the community center, like this is a lifesaver and it saves so much time and it just kind of, again, it feeds into the addiction, but you know, it's okay. If you're more efficient, maybe you'll play less. <laughs> but probably not. Anyway, enough about this one. It's just something that I've been really enjoying lately. And for any of you guys who also love playing Stardew Valley, definitely get this app. It's a life changer. Okay, so last but not least, I wanted to talk about my music favorites. As you all know, or as you should know, anyway, I love Hamilton. Like, the Hamilton soundtrack is my favorite. Like, it's been my favorite musical soundtrack of all time. Um, and I won't go into detail about how much I love it again because I had a whole car rant about it, about how much I love it. So I just want to talk about a few songs that I particularly like the most, it's even though I love the whole soundtrack, but there are a few songs that I just have on repeat all the time. So these songs include Take a Break, Say No to This, Guns and Ships, Satisfied, You'll Be Back, My Shot, and of course Stay Alive Reprise. Um, so if you've never heard the soundtrack for Hamilton, you gotta listen from top 
to bottom. Like, you gotta listen to them in order because it's a story. Like, you really appreciate the songs more if you understand how the story progresses. So definitely listen from top to bottom and don't just listen to it once or twice. Listen to it three or four times. Just have it playing at all times. If you're at the gym, play it. I mean, it's actually perfect for the gym because it's mostly rap. So it really gets you pumped up. At least it does for me. And I really, really enjoy listening to it 24 seven, no matter what I'm doing. But yeah, definitely listen to it in order from top to bottom a few times. And then, and then after you understand the essence of the story, then you can start choosing and picking single songs that you love, which is what I've done. Um, but do not skip this step. Do not skip the step because the songs will not be as impactful, will not be as awesome and amazing as it truly is if you don't listen to the whole thing and understand the story first. Speaking of Broadway, I've also been loving the Waitress soundtrack. I recently watched Waitress live um, at the beginning of January, so I've been really enjoying the soundtrack. Some of my favorite songs is She Used To Be Mine, um, When He Sees Me Only Takes a Taste and Bad Idea. When He Sees It has been on repeat for me lately because it's just such a fun and like, it's a silly song. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it is a very silly song, but it's just fun. Like, it's so fun to sing along to and just like, it just puts a smile on my face every time I listen to it. So definitely give that a listen. Uh, Waitress is a great musical, by the way, if you ever get the chance to see it, um, definitely go see it. It's really, it's really funny, but oddly inappropriate for kids. You don't actually see anything, but the implication of what's happening is there and it's like, when those scenes happened, there were a lot of parents who were like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have brought my kids there. <laughs> it's a really fun music. I really, really enjoyed it. And last but not least, I just wanted to share a fun Instagram account. Or I guess it's not really, I wouldn't really consider it fun. But I wanted to share an Instagram account that I've been really enjoying lately. Um, don't judge me, but this is a inspirational quotes Instagram account and they post like daily quotes about um, just like life stuff, like, you know, like motivational quotes. And it sounds silly and it sounds really cheesy, but I find that when I'm just like living my life, um, I find that my mood is either really stagnant or like sometimes I get a little sad or whatever. And reading these quotes just kind of puts things into perspective. And then I find that I'm a little bit happier after reading it, you know? So for this particular uh, account, it's called Peaceful Mind, Peaceful Life. Um, I'll just read you one of the things. So, so in one of their posts, they posted a quote that says, if their absence brings you peace, you didn't lose them. So again, like I warned you, it's cheesy, but I find that these types of quotes, when they apply to you, it doesn't feel as cheesy. It feels like, yeah, you know what? you're right. And I find that, I don't know, the older I get, the more I find that uh, just getting a like a little bit of a reminder of what's good in life. is just, it's, it's just, it's just such a good morale booster. And I've been really enjoying it. So if you love inspirational quotes, um, I never thought that I did. But after I discovered this, I was like, wow, this is actually really nice. It makes me feel good. You know, um, definitely follow them again. They're called Peaceful Mind, Peaceful Life. And I've just been really enjoying it. So go out and explore the world, guys. Go explore the Instagram world for lovely inspirational quotes. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, if you are interested in any of the products that I mentioned, I will be linking them in my description box. So please check them out. I really like these products and I want you guys to love them too. And if you do, let me know in the comment section because I love sharing the things that I like and hopefully you guys will too. So please like and subscribe if you like this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.